All right, everyone, welcome to the first video in this round of five year anniversary videos. So if you saw my update video from last month, you will know that we are starting off with an unboxing video. So it's not going to be Thomas Wooden Railway centric. I do have a healthy amount of Wooden Railway stuff just looking under my table here. I got, we got about 13 or 14 items to look at. So and we're actually starting off with something that is not Thomas Wooden Railway related. We're starting off with something from the newest line that Mattel and Fisher Price have put out. This is the Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle three pack. So, um, this is the Tom. This is known as the Thomas and Friends motorized line. This is replacing the Trackmaster line that has been, um, being put out on store shelves since I think. 2006 or seven around that time it's really it's a really old line it was the oldest line that mattel was still doing up until this year when they decided to can it halfway through to make way for this a million times better line this i'm really liking the line they only have out th i wouldn't really say three products but three main three packs there's a couple of sets as well, and everything has been really, really good so far. I really like this three-pack. This is one of the... This is probably the best out of those main three-packs. There's Duchess, and there's also Kenji, respectively, from the two specials that were put out this year. But yeah, um, I really like this packaging, by the way. It's really nice. It's really simple. I love the shade of blue. I think it looks great. Got a cool promo at Thomas, the huge logo right there. Fisher Price, Motorized, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle. Three plus, better than three plus, three through seven, excuse me. Yeah, you got a nice clear packaging here where you can see all the items that you get. Go on the top here. Thomas, it's basically the same as it was on the side. But yeah, I don't want to hit my little um, backdrop here, so. I'm going to do my best. On the side here, we got Logo, Thomas, James, and Nia. I think, is Thomas at the scrapyard? That looks like the scrapyard. Interesting. All right, go to the back. We got Percy, Nia, and Emily here. I'm really not a fan of all the languages here, but Mattel is doing this with all of their, all of their major toy lines. Um, I know they do it for the Cars line. And they are doing it with some of the new wood products, like Edward and Toby. Spoiler alert. Those will not be in this video. I wanted them to be so bad, but I couldn't find them in time. There will be two new wood products that we're looking at, though. So, get excited for that. And then on this side, you got Thomas again with the little logo right there. And you can see Thomas's cute little face. Not really cute. It's pretty terrifying. Go to the bottom here, you got all this stuff, and I would usually skip over the bottom, but if we look right here, this is pretty cool. This is probably one of the best parts of this product. Got a little Thomas going with the barcode, so that was nice, and it scanned perfectly fine in the store. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to get this out. I have, let me put this off to the side here. I have this old Tony 3-pack, which has the old classic Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle theme. And we'll compare it to them later. So, yeah, let's get opening this. I've had this in my possession for I don't know how many months now. Probably since June or July. And i have it's just been sitting in a box um, with all these items that I want to unbox. And I'm really excited to finally get it open. Um, we gotta, I don't want to destroy this packaging. Like I said, it's really nice. And I want to keep it in good condition, but... Get some of this tape off. And I do actually have a motorized engine that's out of box. Um, <laughs> it's actually the Elephant Gordon here. Um, this item sucks, but the only reason I got it was for that elephant there. And you will see why next year. But yeah, let's get it out. Here, I'm gonna actually take this tape off. I completely off. Hopefully I don't damage anything. There we go. Just this off to the side here and let's get it out i'm very very excited i don't know if there'll be anything different about this in the gordon or if there's anything else inside oh. instruction manual here i mean it's pretty self-explanatory how to work this thing but yeah 
So I'm gonna leave the box. Let's see, I'll throw it back here. There we go. And this is the left glyph. Um, I like how you got the track underneath here. I wish they would have included track, but oh well. I'm really excited to open this. Um, yeah, it looks, looks really cool. And fun fact, I have never actually owned a just regular stock standard Trackmaster 2 Thomas. So this will be my first exposure to one. Um, I have, let me look off to the side here. I have the Crash and Repair Thomas. I don't know why I have that. I got it right around the time that the line switched over to the new style. Um, yeah, I got it along with Scruff, I think, so let's get it out. I'm really excited to put the coaches here. Oh, these look really cool. Let's look at Thomas first. I have some Trackmaster track. I'll, I'll put these on in a second, but here's Thomas. Um, I really don't like this face. I think this face looks terrible. But, oh well. I'm never going to use this for anything. I mean, obviously it doesn't work because there's no batteries in them. Yeah. Um, it's not, it's not good. I don't like this Thomas at all. I think this Thomas looks terrible. He just, something about him just looks way too squished and he's really extended and long and his face is horrible. And the buffers aren't even painted, which... Oh, well. And look, is that misprinted? I think, yeah, that thing, that siding or decaling, detailing, excuse me, right there is not printed correctly. Um, you can see this side, it's more correctly printed. But we're not here to talk about Thomas. We're here to talk about these two. Oh, my, what is that? There's like a, I don't know what that is. Oh, there's something on the top here. I noticed this in the box. This one's kind of scratched on the top. I should have returned this to get another one, but I don't really mind. Let's look at these. Annie Clarabelle. Wow, wow, wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> these are awesome. It feels, honestly, I don't want to say anything bad about these, but they feel cheap. Um, the plastic doesn't feel as strong as these other ones, but it's 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 strong, I guess. Um, but yeah, here's that. The faces are different. I like that we have a molded face now. That's cool. And I like that it's not the... I like and dislike the fact that we don't have the shocked face. This one, Annie never really made this face. She made it, like, once, but... Um, I like that it's smiling, but it, it's hard to distinguish these two now. But, I mean, if you're a Thomas fan, you'll be able to tell. Like, of course, Annie's at the front because she has the coupling there, and Clarabelle doesn't. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. On the side here, it looks really, it's it's just awesome. Um, I don't have any Trackmaster 2 rolling stock on me, but I, I'll tell you this. It stopped about here. This is how, this is how big the Trackmaster 2 Annie and Clarabelle were, but now it's been extended and it just looks amazing. One thing I don't like is these wheels. This is what, something that Trackmaster started doing halfway through its run. I don't like that, because it doesn't help. Um, I guess it helps, like, run on this kind of track a little better, maybe? I don't know. Maybe on the blue track? Oh, is this? Okay, I thought you could see the end of the track there. Huh. Oh, well. Yeah. And if you can see inside, let me go really close up. There are seats in there. There are actual seats, and I know there have been users that have actually taken this off, and there's, like, wood paneling on the floor. That is dedication. Oh, uh, and then you got these stupid couplings. Whatever happened to these kind of couplings? Like, why can't we get these anymore? Ugh. Mattel also cheapened out on this in, like, 2017, I think. I have, um, another, tr just regular Trackmaster item we're gonna look at later, but... I believe that item also has this stuff, so, yep. Wow, and also, underneath, we got undercarriage detail. This is really cool. I am loving this so far. Um, I'm just containing in my excitement so I don't, like, scream really loud. Like, scream like this! Or scream even louder. Like, I'm not going to over-exaggerate. I mean, it's cool. It's really nice. 
I'm not gonna really, I don't think I'll use these. Um, if I ever do like a Trackmaster remake, I'll probably use these because I do like this style a little better. But for a ki for a kid's first Thomas toy, I think this this pack is a really nice way to start off. Yeah, it's just basically the same. I like the the faces are actually a little bit different, um, which I like. The eyes are a little bit closer on this one, and the mouth is a little different. Yeah, this segment is all, almost going off about 10 minutes. And I don't want it to be that long. Yeah. Let's go them up. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let's do this. That doesn't look half bad. Yeah. Looks... Ugh. Try hard. <laughs> yeah, let's couple them up. Yeah, you got, it. you got yourself a pretty nice train there. Yeah, like I said, for a kid's first Thomas toy, this is a pretty good one to start off with. Let me... I have some tracks here. Let me get, Let's start off with the classic blue track. I just want to see how it looks. Yeah, here's the sign. And here's that. <laughs> From the sign. It looks... I really like this blue track, though. Even though it's not realistic, it looks really cool against Thomas. I like it. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm pretty sure it runs nice. I've tested Trackmaster 2 on these old tracks, and it just works horribly. Like, it sucks. This one also looks pretty good. I don't have any Trackmaster 2 tracks because I refuse to buy any. <laughs> but yeah, that's really all for this. Oh, I really like this pack. Like, again, I... If you... If you... These are really cheap, actually. I got this for about 10 bucks at Walmart. And I've got that... This stupid pack was like 14 at target so if you're gonna get this go to walmart i don't know if target actually has this yet but if you're gonna get this go to walmart and get it it's really cheap and it's honestly worth ten dollars um let me just throw this on the top here just for good measure i guess but yeah that's really all for this i want to briefly bring in this one as well oh well, i didn't really compare it that much but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can look at other people's reviews of it, but I'll just show you the top here. I mean, it's a little bit shorter. As you can see, I don't want to uncouple the train again, but it's a little bit shorter, but it's still nice. Yeah, that's... I mean, that. And also, briefly, like, what what has happened to Thomas? Like, look at this. This... It's not that different, but it's still it's not good. It this is way cheaper than this. Yeah, and also one positive, this can move by itself. This can't. It sucks. But yeah, that's all for this pack. Um not much else to say. I'm really impressed with this. Um really, really, really like that. That was a good one. I recommend you pick that up. And we're gonna move on to the next one, which is actually wooden railway related. I just had to briefly look down to see if it was when really related, but it is. So, I'll see you in the next segment. All right, just as a little treat for you guys, I have two items to look at. We have Thomas Winnerly Den and Thomas Winnerly Dart from Day of the Diesels. As you can see up there, got the cool Day of the Diesels packaging. I really like the specialist packaging. It looks really nice. Um, and as you can see, we're at Wallsworth now. And I also forgot to mention, with Thomas, but this is the first exposure of the CGI engines. Let me just zoom in on Edward. This is the first video you're seeing them in. So you'll see them in the rest of my five year anniversary videos and um, at the start of next year, like I already said in my update video. So oh, let me zoom the camera back out just a little bit. Readjust, there we go. So yeah, we got two Class, not really hard to find items, but decently rare items. They're from the Learning Curve era, so pretty cool. We're going to start off with Den here, because Den comes before Dart, of course. So I'll just put Dart back there. <laughs> he's going to, he's just going to cover up Trevor. It's okay. That Trevor's awful anyways. Let's look at Den here. So, um, I got both of these off of eBay. I believe Den was about $8, and Dart was maybe about... 15 maybe from that? I don't remember exactly. It was maybe a little cheaper. I don't remember exactly. Um, yeah, these are, I got these around like May, 
tops or something. So I've had these for a long time. But yeah. Here's Den. Um, I really like this um, 2011 kind of packaging. It looks a little... It's not as good as the 2008 packaging. But I like it. I like this wood here. And then the combination with the red and the yellow. And then the blue here. It looks really nice. And then the green up here. Um, yeah, it looks a little pixelated, but... Oh, well, it's from 2011. You can't expect, expect everything to be perfect. As seen on DVD, Day of the Diesels. Because this was the first time that we actually saw Den and Dart. These are brand new characters from Day of the Diesels. And they have reoccurred every single... Well, not every single season or special, but they've been reoccurring characters ever since. So, yeah. Um, I The main reason I went with these ones, except... Um, instead of the Mattel ones, is because I... These ones were easier for me to find. I could not find, for the life of me, good price Mattel ones. And even though I like the Mattel faces a little better, I think these ones will suffice. But yeah, let's take a look at them. Um, so here's Den. Um, I really like Den and Dart. They're really cool characters. Um, some of the better Sharon Miller characters, even though Dart did that stupid thing. It's like, well, he means is. Um, they don't really do that that much anymore, which is nice. As you can see here, this looks like it came from Marshalls. Um, about eight bucks. Yeah, compare it to 12. That was pretty cool. Dart actually has a really funny story. He also has, has a sticker on him. Oh, where's my hand? There it is. Right there, there's a sticker. And it's really funny. I'll show you in just a second when we get Den out. Yeah. Oh, let me put it on the side there. 2011. One of the last Learning Curve products, actually. Um, but it's not, it's not a bad model. It's just, something about it just doesn't, doesn't really do it for me. I like this. It's probably the face, but yeah, Dart has a lot more problems than Den. But let's get them out. Um, I'm really excited to actually get these models out. All of these wooden really models. Because these are the ones that I've actually been, like, hyping up. The other ones are just, like, a bonus, like... Oh, I have some more Trackmaster, and I have some Push Along, which, yay. <laughs> no, Push Along is terrible, but these are the ones that I'm actually going to, like, use in videos. Those ones are just, like, a bonus. Um, yeah, if I can get this out, that'd be great. This is actually pretty well secured in there. Oh, there we go. I don't want to wreck the packaging too much. I can make sure... Excuse me, I gotta make sure I keep everything in frame here. Yeah, no pamphlets or anything. This is around the time when Learning Curve stopped putting pamphlets in. Let me have to stop for a couple of years. I don't know. They also started to put in these weird support things here to keep everything in place. Yeah. So here is Den. Um, wh what is that? What in the world is that? I don't know. What can I get that off? Oh, that's pretty well in there. That's. I don't know what that is. I don't know if this was from the factory. It's on the back too. What? That is. Is it on this side? Oh, there's some paint chipping there. There's none on this side though. That's a little disappointing, honestly. I wonder if I'd take, like, a paper towel or, like, a Q-tip or and try and rub that out, but it looks like grease or something. It's just, like, dripping in there. I have no idea what that is. It's on the back here, too. Kind of poor, really poor quality control, honestly. Man. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it's really big. It's honestly a really big model. It feels like a big toy, and Den's a big diesel, so that makes sense. Here's a face, a pretty good face, honestly. It's not the worst. It's it's off centered. Oh my god. Sorry for I didn't mean to say that, but oh my goodness. This is really bad quality control. Learning curve was just not doing so hot at the end of their run. Here's the bottom. Looks like it's from the 150th day of 2011, so it's about halfway through the year. Um yeah. I, I really do like, I don't like how it's put on, but I really like um, the orange here. Uh, Den 
I believe, I don't think his wheels are actually orange. I believe it's his side rods. They're orange. I could be wrong, though. I haven't looked. I don't know what Den looks like 100% off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure his side rods are orange or something like that. Yeah. I really like these hazard stripes. I like that they're orange instead of, like, yellow, like, darts back here. So that's pretty cool. It distinguishes him a bit, but, yeah. Pretty bad. Oh, and there's just, like, loose paint in the back there. You can't really see and it's like loose paint. This is kind of disappointing, honestly. But oh well, I'm not gonna complain too much because I don't, I don't want to rant. Because I tend to rant a lot. But yeah, there's Den. I almost called him Dart. Close. But <laughs> here's a box. I'll just chuck the box over here, and then let's take a look at Dart. So I like Dart. Dart's pretty cool. He's a little funky. He's really big. Like he's. He really shouldn't be that big. He really should be the size of, like, Scruff. Which is really weird because I believe they're from the same year. Dart is from... Or, sorry, Scruff is from season 14. So that's, like, 2011, 2010-ish. I don't know. Why didn't they just make him the size of Scruff? I have no idea. Yeah. Um, his face? <laughs> that looks a little weird. Um, that's just the package. You don't think his face is really, like, demented or anything, but it looks like he has one huge eye there. <laughs> that's really funny. But yeah, um, this sticker here, when I show you it, you're gonna laugh. $14. So this has a tag of $8. This one has $14. Um, there's no Marshall sticker, so I'm assuming this came from, like, a train show or, like, a yard sale or something like that. Um, because retail stores don't put these kind of stickers on here. And that looks like a smiley face. That's cool. But, yeah, I don't think this is from an actual store. It probably came from a store back in, like, 2011, but... Maybe it was direct to a train show? I have no idea, but I'm assuming that's where it's from. These, by the way, these did not come from the same seller. These came from completely different sellers. I believe from different sides of the country as well. This, I don't remember exactly, but I don't think they were close. I know they are different sellers, though, so let's get them out. Um, it's gonna be pretty interesting. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these guys. Um, I, I'm hoping to bring them into my series. I'm not sure if they'll be in remakes, because the only remakes that I would do with these are... With these, all these. I tend to say that a lot, I realize that. The only remakes that I would do with these guys are from the Brenner era. And they don't appear, they appear, but not as much as in the Miller seasons. Let's go right off the side. They'll just probably be like shelf warmers on my um, display shelf. So here's Dart. Let's check for any of those things. Nope, this looks pretty good, honestly. Um, the face, yep, centered. It's not really, um, like, def I forgot what I said in like, it's not messed up like the packaging depicted it to be. But yeah. Here's bottom. Oh, he's got a little bit of a chip there. 87th day of 2011. Nice. Uh, right around... I don't know, May, June? When this was made? I don't exactly know. Yeah. Pretty nice. Um, Even though he's way, way, way too big, I like him. So let's just set these guys... Like this. They look really nice together. Um, yeah, they look really nice on the clickety clack track. I really like that. Um, this is a really bad angle. You can't really see Den at all. And I'm blocking off Edward and Ben, but I'll just put them like this. Yeah. So Dart's face is really cool. Um, they got Dart's face down pretty good. Den's face is a little off. Um, I don't know what it is. It's probably just his eyes. Maybe his eyebrows or something. It just doesn't look like Den 100%. And, oh, he's also, he's got chips. Oh, he's got, like, circles in his, like, running board here. I'm not going to complain anymore about this. Because it's not a bad model. It's just got poor quality control. But, yeah, that's all for Den and Dart, really. Um, you all know Den and Dart. I mean, they're... It's pretty self-explanatory. I've worn these guys for a while, just to have more diesels, because that's really what I was lacking in my collection. I have tons and tons of steam engines, 
but I've, I don't have that many diesels, and I actually have another diesel we're going to unbox later, and that one's actually going to be really useful for videos. And he's got grass mat stuff all over him now. But yeah, that's Den and Dart. Uh, there's not really an easy or convenient way to um, set these guys up for the camera or anything. I'll just put them like this, even though they're off-centered. Um, I'll bring in their boxes, how about? So here's Dan. Sorry, Edward, I'm gonna have to move you back just a bit. And then there's Dart. Pretty nice. Um, yeah. Let's move on to the next item, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are gonna be pretty surprised about. And I know I was surprised when I heard about it too, so let's head into the forest. Alright, so here we are in my lame little forest here. Um I thought it would fit Henry, because Henry loves the forest, and we're looking at another version of Henry. This is the Thomas Wood Henry. Um, this item really caught a lot of people off guard when it was announced last year. I know it caught me off guard, because um, it looked like for a while we wouldn't be getting Henry or Edward or Toby, but we now have all three of them. Um, I can't find the other two, but I found Henry. Um, Henry's... Henry, out of those three, is probably the worst. I don't. I really like the Toby. The Edward's also pretty good. It's not the best, but Henry. I don't know. Something about Henry just doesn't really do it for me. I like it, but it's just. I don't know. It's weird. Let's take a look at the packaging here. Um, it's also fitting that I have Henry, the good Mattel Henry here, so we can can compare it. I don't have. My regular Henry Omni right now, but I will compare it to this one. And before we look at the packaging, uh, I am crazy. I bought a second one. Just to keep it in the box. Excuse me, in the box. Um, yeah. And this one, this one up here has a bit of a crunched corner, so it's obvious I gotta open this one to get it out. But yeah. So I'm not a huge, I'm, I'm kind of mixed on the wood packaging. I don't like that the names are on the side now. I think it looks horrible. I wish they were up at the top here. So yeah, we got the Thomas Friends wood logo. It's basically just the wooden railway logo. Let me get that. Here's Den. It's basically the same. It's just changed a little bit. You got track up there, but where else does it go? I don't know. Yeah clouds and trees and hills it looks those are not hills it just looks weird real wood right up there and i'm sorry i'm getting really close up to the camera but it's kind of hard for me to zoom out without looking weird um good old nitrogen nitrogen henry without the lamp um i wish they would have updated the promos and put lamps on them because they all have lamps now but oh well yeah let's go to the back here they always have decent descriptions here. So here's the back, the back of the box, excuse me. Um, let me go like that. It's not a bad promo, Henry, honestly. Um, on camera, he looks a little darker. He's actually a pretty neutral tone of green. I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah. Here's the description. Say hello to Henry. Henry's the long and fast number three engine. He's a bit of a worrier, but he works hard on the main line and will give any engine a run for its money. That is almost like a verbatim of an old character description of Henry. Um, if you ever had one of those DVD bonus packs from, or VHS bonus packs from way back in the day, um, they used to include wooden railway engines with VHSs. And on Henry's description, he had kind of this, um, we'll give any engine a run for its money, um, thing on the back here. So that's really, that's a nice little homage to that. I also think this is really funny. They still include this Thomas. That's from, like, 2000. So I don't know why they still have that on here. But it's about 20 years old at this point. But yeah, let's, let's get old Henry out of here. So I've had this one. I think this is the oldest one that I have. The oldest item. Or the one that I got the earliest, I should say. Not the oldest. This is obviously the newest item. Besides that. Um, motorized three pack but I've had this one since about January, February of this year right before the whole pandemic started um, which 
at the time of recording, we are still um, in this pandemic. I'm not sure if when this comes out, the pandemic will be any better, but it doesn't really look like it'll change that much. But yeah, here's the box. I'll just throw you right over there. Hope I don't knock down any trees. Because Henry will get very upset. But yeah, let's take a look at him. Let's decouple, decouple him, actually. So the face is... Ugh, I'm not a fan of that face. Um, Let's take Henry here. Oh, you can see. Oh, no, my cover's blown. Uh, yeah, I had to use some track to prop up that tree a little bit. But this Henry face is perfect. It's probably have to do probably has to do with the eyes. The pupils are just way, way, way too big. Something about him just looks it theoretically they should be the exact same face because they're made by the exact same company. But I don't know what's wrong with him. It just looks weird. I don't know what it is. I also don't like those white dots in his eyes. It looks it looks more like a toy than an actual character. But like a whatever, I don't know. He also has that stupid ring around his smoke box. Like, you can clearly see on his render, he doesn't have that. In the Railway series, I believe he does. Oh, I just knocked over a tree. Oh, well. Don't hurt me. In the Railway series, I'm pretty sure he does. But this is not based on the Railway series Henry. This is based on the CGI Henry. So, yeah, he suffers the unfortunate um, new wood... Um, demands of being squashed, no domes, and just pr stupid. Pr I hate these printed decals. I wish we had the painted ones like this because this looks really smooth. It looks really elegant. This just looks really pixelated and stupid. Yeah, this has happened with the cars line. I'm looking up at some because I have some on display on my wall here. And since they moved over to Thailand, they just print all of them on really horribly. But, yeah, you know, I really like the shade of green. The shades of green are pretty much exactly the same, but this the, the green isn't that bad. And I like that he has um this dome, because Henry has two kinds of domes. He has this weird long one, which he got after his rebuild. Then he has this one, and the Mattel one only ever gave him one. And he's only ever had one in all of his merchandise, I believe. Well, I, I think I'm... He's Trackmaster one. I'm look. I'm trying to see if I can find it behind me. I'm pretty sure he does. Well, never on a wooden railway model. Um, his splashers have been crammed together. I still like that we have this one because one of his splashers is supposed to be cut off. Got his cylinder right there, and then these triangle things. I still like that we get those. Gordon has these two, which is nice. The cab is really big, and I like that. Henry's supposed to have a huge cab. Um, yeah, not, not awful, but it's a little better than I thought it would be. And I love, I really like that his firebox is pronounced. Like, it's actually, like, not part of the model. Like, James, I believe? I believe the wooden rail, or the wood James and Henry have very similar molds. Yeah. I don't actually know if James... None of these have cutout bits, but James has that weird, like, half-circle bit for his cab. I don't know if that's cut out on the wood one. I doubt it is. Let's take a look at the tenders really quick. Let me get this one. They're obviously different, and this one's obviously superior, but this one's not half bad. Because Henry's tender is not like a normal tender. It's not supposed to be, like, all-rounded. It's supposed to be, like, half-square, half, like cut out here i still to this day i still think this colo looks like cheetah prince it looks like cheetah prince um i don't have the wood rebecca on me right now i have it it's just not with me right here but it, it literally looks like she has cheetah prince in her tender that's it's so funny but yeah and his wheels are actually really far spaced apart and i don't really like that because and on this Henry, you can see it. The wood overlaps the magnet, or overlaps the chassis underneath. This one, it's completely flush, and it just looks like the magnets are like pimples or whatever. It's like it sticks out like a sore thumb. That's what I'm trying to say. 
this one it's much more subtle and same thing because this one overlaps them or overlaps the chassis i don't know why this can't yeah it's just a big square like literally it's a square all the wood models have this and i don't know why he's already got grass on him again like dark underneath here let's look at the underneath you got henry 326 day of 2019 so that's right around the end of the year same thing with this oh 323 huh why did they make henry's tender before henry that doesn't make a lot of sense he's also got those stupid bolts which i hate that just really takes away from the craftsmanship like this doesn't have bolts in it it still has these so you can connect it to the body so it will turn but what i'm trying to say is this is a quality toy this is not a quality toy at all this is i would never buy this for my kid never in a million years i would let my kid play with that and not with this though so let me just bring it back for one second we can briefly look at it like that oh my lord it literally looks like percy henry like wow that's really sad i line up the cabs yeah look at that this one actually has a bigger cab on the bottom interesting yeah look at that i don't i can't really get a good shot but look at that <laughs> that's really funny like henry basically goes this one on the bottom goes up to this stripe so you you could have had all of this part of this model but you didn't for some reason I'll briefly do the faces again. I like that these have buffers now. At least it's the correct buffers. It's not like square buffers or oval buffers like Gordon. No, they gave him the correct buffers like on his render back there. I don't know if I can... You can kind of see it. Um, but yeah. I like that he has buffers. All the wood models have buffers, which is surprising. This one doesn't. I don't intend on giving these models buffers because I've learned from my mistakes. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a bad person at all anymore. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're all bad people. Anyways, I don't know what I'm getting at there, but that's Wood Henry. Um, I'm going to keep this one new in box. Because um, back in February, I thought, oh, these are going to be pretty rare. Um, I, um, I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday, and there's about like seven of these still on the shelves. So, <laughs> can't... Um, can't really call it rare if no one's buying it maybe i don't know they a lot of the adventure begins merchandise for trackmaster was considered rare that's because nobody bought it but maybe henry will be rare i don't know but yeah that's really all for what henry um yeah not not a horrible model it's not one that i ever intend on using it'll probably just only be in collection videos or you know other stuff like that i don't know Maybe I'll do an April Fool's video with that. I don't know. But that's all for Henry. Um, we're going to branch out again from the one real items for just a bit for the next item. But it's it's not a horrible item. I, I think it's quite good, honestly. But it's not a good character, I'll tell you that. And it's not from a good line, either. Um, but we'll look at that when we look at the item. So, um, I think we're going to head to Natford Station and give the focus to gordon for a bit all right so the next item we're gonna look at is from a line that i and pretty much the whole community is not a huge fan of this is the push along rebecca um yeah i don't know why i have this honestly um i don't have any other push along items the only one that i have is thomas and that stupid windmill set I don't have anything else, though, and I refuse. Actually, no, I do. I totally forgot. I have Edward and Henry. Um, I'm not unboxing them, though, because it's Edward and Henry, man. You can't, you, you gotta keep them safe, okay? And I can't find that Toby anywhere. So, if I do find a Toby, I'll keep that in a box, but anyways. Um, this is Rebecca. Um, I got this at Target months ago, um, and it was, like, six bucks. And I'm like, you know what? I don't really care. So I just bought it. And honestly, I think this is a pretty good push-along model. I think if this was around during the Adventures times, 
this would have been in contenders for one of the best adventures items. Because honestly, the shape of this isn't half bad. I'm going to compare it to the wood Rebecca right there, but I honestly don't hate this model that much. Um, I hate the line still, but this, this character is not that bad. So we got Flynn, James, and Merlin all are just horrible, horrible models. Flynn's not the worst. James is awful. Merlin's awful. But yeah, it's not that bad. And then right up there, I don't like that this is associated with Trackmaster now. I wish it was its own line, like Adventures or Take and Play. But well, whatever. And it's still in that stupid packaging. And I don't like this packaging at all. I think it's just so generic. But yeah, we got... What in the world? Did they, did they trademark Rebecca? If you don't know what that TM means, it's not focusing. I'll go like this. If you don't know what TM means, that means trademark, which means like we own this. So I guess they have ownership over the name Rebecca for some reason. They also copyright Nia as well for some reason. I don't know. Push along right up there. And then there's, I almost call her Emily, but this is Rebecca. That looks like a take and play Thomas, honestly. It doesn't look like the CGI Thomas, but I don't know. Three to seven down there. But I'm not old enough. Whatever. I'm, I'm way, 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 way older than, than seven, I'll tell you that. Um, metal engine right there. The tenders are still awful. This tender sucks, but the engine itself isn't that bad. So let's just crack this. Um, I don't want to say guy, because it's not really a guy. Let's crack this item open. I just want to really get this one over with. I really wanted to get 15 items for this, but I couldn't... I didn't have 15 items that I wanted to unbox. I had, like, 14, I think. Um, and this was the last one, because I was like, you know what? I just need one more item. Man, yeah, throw the box. Go over there. <laughs> but here's Rebecca. That's Uncle Blur from the Tender. And she does fit on one railway track. Yeah, it's actually pretty heavy. Um, it does actually feel like a. <laughs> it kind of feels like a take along item. It's, it's it's actually pretty light, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. It's not very heavy diecast metal, but um, it looks like it could be a take along model. Yeah, not that bad. I honestly. Let's take this Rebecca here. I don't like this face at all. I think this face looks way too happy. This is the perfect Rebecca face. It's perfect. If you stuck this, put it on this, it'd be perfect. But the fact is that we have the stupid smiling Rebecca. I think the actual Trackmaster one is like this too. She's not overly happy. She's just, hey, I'm Rebecca. Yeah. I really like that you got all the rivets and stuff on here. They're actually like molded, but then these ones are printed for some reason. You got our funnel up there. I like that they put that in there. They could have easily skipped over that. Her safety valve, her whistle, everything up there. And you got the 22 right there. Sorry for your weird noises. I don't know what's going on in my house. Um, I like this little design here. You got the orange there, you got the red. You got the white here. And then it kind of looks like a house from the back here. Um, it's just got the windows there. It looks like a house, honestly. <laughs> if you look at it, it looks like a house. Which is kind of weird. Yeah. It's very loud upstairs. I have no idea what's going on. I wish it was quiet, but uh, I couldn't really do this another time. What's up with the bottom here? It's like scratched up. Is that from, is that from putting it on the tracks? No, because she runs really fine. That's so weird. Why is it scratched underneath? I don't know. Yeah, 2018. Ghislaine Thomas, Mattel, Rebecca. Made in Thailand? Huh. Hold on. Are these... Are all Thomas toys made? Oh, no. This is made in China. So the wood stuff is made in China. What? Let me get the... Motorized box. It's also made in China. That's so weird. They did this with the Cars line too. That's made in Thailand too. It used to be made in China, so... I don't know what's going on there. That's... Oh, she had something on her window there. I don't know what's going on there. That's a little weird. Yeah, she's also got those stupid couplings like... 
Oh, where'd they go? Here, I'll just take Clarabelle here, like that. They're pretty much exactly the same. Well, they're the same concept, but they're not identical. So you can connect these, right? Oh my god, you can. Wow, that just looks horrible. That just, that does not look pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. The tender sucks. It's way too small. You got the coal over there, which is pretty nice. It's not, it's, 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 I, I'm not gonna talk about this. Also, speaking of Rebecca tenders, I said in the last segment that Rebecca, her coal looked like cheetah prints because I thought it did. Um, it actually doesn't. It's actually all black for some reason. So, I don't know if there's another yellow tender engine that has that, but. Apologies if you were expecting cheetah print Rebecca tenders. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I like the, um, molt, the detailing here. It's not that bad. Um, that's where water goes. You got a little thing there to open it. I don't know what these are on the side here. Yeah. NWR on her tender. I hate that it's the Thomas intro font. Or the regular Thomas font. I wish it was like that font right there. But we can't have nice things nowadays. Have you seen what they did to the show? Uh, oh, I'm not going to talk about that. But yeah, these wheels are just way, 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 way too big. <laughs> it literally looks like a monster truck or something. And then you got the buffers on the front, of course. It's not a push long model unless you have buffers on the front. But yeah, um, I do. Ha I forgot to say this in my motorized um, section. Let me just push Gordon back and put Rebecca like this. I do have some Trackmaster track. It's only the curbs though, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get those out just for this. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look horrible on wooden relay track. I'm glad that it all adapts on the same track now, but. It just needs to look better. Like, this is way, way, way too small. It needs to be bigger. Especially the tenders. The tender engines don't look good at all in push long form. They just look horrible. And just listen to this, too. Like, it just feels really... It just sounds really cheap. And I don't really want to talk about this that much anymore because it's not a good item. It's it's an alright item. It's a good-looking engine. It looks like Rebecca. You look at it, oh, it looks like Rebecca. You look at that... It's obviously not Rebecca at all. It's way too small, but at least when you get the idea, yeah, it's Rebecca. But that's really all for this. Um, I don't want to spend any more time on this because I want to get on to good items because I have three fantastic items we're going to look at next. Not all together, but the three items I'm looking at next are just absolutely amazing and I love them. So yeah, let's, um, um, unfortunately... Um, Gordon has to be paired up with this now. Um, I... Uh, Gordon, I just feel bad for him now. Even in the show, he has to deal with this stupid banana. Oh, I did not mean for that to happen, guys. There you go. Um, let's get that out of here. Let me... If I can grab that packaging, that would be great. There we go. I'll put you right there. And knock over the Nafford sign while you're at it. I'll just move it back a little bit. So that's all for Rebecca. Um, yeah, let's go move on to the next item, which I am very excited to get out of the box. So for the past four segments, you've probably noticed that I have Mattel versions of Thomas, Edward, Henry, and Gordon. And on your screen now, you are seeing a learning curve James. And you're probably wondering, where's your Mattel James? You have Mattel James, right? You showed him off in your update video. Well, don't fret, loyal subscriber. Here he is. This is Mattel James. This is the first Mattel wooden rail item we're going to take a look at. We have a couple more we're going to look at. But this is the first. And this one that I'm the most excited to get out because um, I have Mattel versions of all the Steam Team except for James. And I really, really needed a James because um, this one, it's, it's good. It just... It's needed an update, so I'm going to put you back in the shed, James. I'm going to actually close the door so I don't have to look at you. <laughs> but let's take a look at James here. So this was the first new inbox item besides these uh, Henrys here. 
um, that I actually got. This was about 20 bucks from eBay. Um, I got it right around Valentine's Day, actually, which makes, which is fitting because James is red and red is associated with Valentine's Day. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was about 20 bucks. Um, yeah, it came in pretty fast. And I was the only bidder on the auction. I, th I think it was actually, I think I actually made an offer on it. And the seller accepted it, so that was cool. Yeah. Um, just in the packaging, James looks really, really good. I really like James in the package. It looks pretty nice. On the back here, I'll look at the Mattel packaging more when we get them out, but the Mattel packaging is just wonderful. And then we got this stupid learning curve James on the back promo, which I don't like at all. Um, is the stripes all been gold? I feel like that's not the case. It probably is. Alright, it's just not very shiny gold on mine. Um, it probably is, or probably was at one point, like when I got it. Whenever I got it in the store back in the day. Oh, well, yeah. 2013, actually, I think it's from 2014. Yeah. 154th day of 2014. The packaging was kind of messing it up there. But, yep. James there. James is tender. And this one isn't as... This one's in not the best shape because he has a bit of a scratch on his hand drill there. That was... I'm assuming that's how the seller bought it back in the stores, but other than that, it's in pretty good condition, so. He's also got a bit of a nick right down there, but yeah. I'm really, really excited to get this out of the box, so. Let's get him out. And these early Mattel items are so good. Um, yeah, they look good, but the packaging for the early Mattel items is really good because they have these little straps here at the bottom, so if you're like me who likes to keep the packages or packaging whatever you open it from the bottom they do have the tabs up here which if you just want to like rip it out of the box you can do that but yeah if i can get this out that would be great i don't want to like i said i don't want to destroy these boxes too much i'm a little more lenient on destroying packages than i was a couple years ago because i was really scared about that back in the day but i don't really mind nowadays but yeah there he is Ooh, that looks really good james that james looks really good on camera i've seen on other people's videos he looks excellent on the camera but here he is let's check for any more damages nope looks good to me let's check the tender really quick perfect 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 this looks really good the black and the red Looks really good on this for some reason. I really like that. Black and red. It's one of my favorite color combinations. But yeah, here is James. Let's actually get Learning Curve James out of the sheds there. So we can compare it just a little bit in a while. But yeah, face looks pretty good. It looks just like James from the series. Um, I don't know what was up the learning curve back then, but I don't know why there's an extra line over his splashers. I think these are called splashers. Excuse me. Um, I'm not really skilled on train or steam engine knowledge, but I believe those are called splashers, these things here. And if they're not, correct me in the comments, please. Um, yeah. It looks really crisp. That's what I'll say. This one looks really cartoony. And, but this one looks really crisp, like an actual, like, model. Like, like the render. But yeah, as you can see here, um, James has multiple, he has three stripes on here, and only two on here. I believe on his actual render, he has two, so that makes sense that he only has two here. I'm not sure why he has three here, but, oh well, that's how, I believe that's how the model counterpart was like. And then his dome, that's something that the Mattel model does worse than the learning curve one. His dome is not as shiny. This one is like a really shiny spray paint. It's really cool, but this one is not so much. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. The smoke box, or not the smoke box, the fire box on James has always been huge. Oh, he just got really close up into the camera there, but... Um, the smoke box has always been really huge. It's a little bit smaller on this one, but this one is, like, right up to the top of the cab. Which I'm not a huge fan of. 
Um, I don't think it's that big, actually, because I know James has windows in the front. Um, I don't have another James on hand. Let me see if I can find one. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he has windows, though. Yeah. And this doesn't have buffers. He's not going to get buffers because, um, I'm not that kind of person anymore. And I still like that he has this part of his cab cut out because that's an actual part of James. Um, yeah. Oh, also, I forgot to... Oh, my... What's going on here? He's got a bit of red coming through, so that's not that good, but... I love, love, love that his whistle is on here. We've never had that on James before. I believe on the wood model he has it. I know on the push-along one he does, but... This is the first time on wooden railway we've gotten that, so that's really awesome. Yep, here's the bottom. Kind of looks slanted, just a little bit. But yeah, the wheels, of course, say 2012. I haven't actually checked those on the other models, like Dendar. I'm assuming they say 2003. Yep, 2003. Yep, that's the main engine part of James. I've always liked James. Um, more technically, I've always loved his basis. It just, it's really simple basis. And I like that. James has always had a pretty similar tender font throughout the years. I really like the font here. This one, the fonts on these have always been close, but something about them just doesn't do it. It's a bit slanted up here and it's pointed there. When it should be more like this, which I like. Um, yeah. I, like I said, I really love the black and red combination it just it's perfect i love it um yeah <laughs> yeah i tried to cover the buffers in here when i had red paint i don't know where i don't know where all my paint went so no custom work for me but yeah i feel like i say oh yeah and but and so a lot but <laughs> that's just the way i talk and it's an easy way to transition from saying one thing to another. I'm going to turn James around here. And let's just give him a little spin on the turntable. Um, if you, and you probably noticed I took, the, I took the walls off just so I can set the packaging on here. But that's all for James. Um, looks really, really good. This is one of the better Mattel models. Um, it just looks... I, I love that black and red. It looks so cool. Because on, like, the Take and Play model, I think, I believe he had gray wheels, and that just looked horrible. Um, and this, this also has the black wheels, but since this one's brand new and it's all shiny, this one's really, like, rough, because it's been played with for several, several years, but... Yeah, now it's time to do a very sad thing. I'm sorry to this, James, but you're going to have to be retired, so... Uh, I'm going to put you in the shed. You're probably never going to be used again, unfortunately. Maybe if I do a throwback video, I don't know. But this will be the James you see in videos from now on. Oh, I just hit something. Let's bring this packaging back here. Because I said I was going to look at it more. But yeah, I love the Mattel packaging. I think it's fantastic. I love the track detail in here. The logo it has been the same since Learning Curve. These are the same. Just the coloring is a little different. Um, this says two and up. Um, Trackmaster says three and up. I don't know what's so special about Trackmaster. That it's a, it's meant for a higher class of kids. I don't know why this one's meant for a younger class of kids. <laughs> I don't know why I did that voice. You also got some track here, so that's cool. And that freaking real wood symbol was put onto this. They have they have the audacity to do that. Yeah, that's all for James here. I'm really happy to have this. He's going to look great with all my metal items. Let me just... I have Edward here from the set. Oh, 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 look at that. Looks perfect together. And then just to vary up the colors a little bit. Let's bring in old Henry. Oh, what a great steam team this is going to be. But yeah. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, we have a rolling stock pack next. Rolling stock pack next. That's kind of hard to say, but 
it's one of the only rolling stock packs that I have. It's a really good one, too. I've always wanted this pack, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna clean up this set here just a little bit, get rid of all these, all this trash off to my, off to my left here, and all these extra engines, and then we'll get ready for the next item, so. I'm gonna send, I'm just gonna send James away for a good hard day's of work, and we'll see you in the next item. Alright, time for a simpler item. This is the Oil and Coal Cargo 2-Pack. Um, this is an early, early Mattel item. This is an item that was never in the learning curve line. This is a Mattel exclusive item. As you can see, it's from 2012, so this is one of the first Mattel items. Um, I don't see a pamphlet, though, so... Oh, it looks like this was made in 2014. But I know this pack is really early from like either late 2012 or like mid 2013 and late 2013, early 2014 maybe. I know it's an early item though, really early. Um, but yeah, this also came from eBay. This was, I couldn't tell you how much this was. I think like $21 or something. And this doesn't work. Um, I'm not like sad about that or anything. It's just... I'm not going to use that, but it would be cool if it lit up. I do have batteries for this. Um, maybe I'll put them in one day. But I really, really, really love this coal car. I've wanted this car for a long, long time. And before I unbox this, I want to mention something. If you look where the package was sealed, you'll notice that it's kind of off-centered. Like, it starts here right underneath the little nameplate. It goes up... And it goes right on to the nameplate, so... And it, it's fl almost flush on the bottom, like... I don't know what's going on with it, though. It's interesting. It's also got the flap over here. If you remember with James... Um, I was packaging really quick. His flap was on the right side. This is on the left side. I don't know why I didn't put it over there. Who knows? Yeah. Try me. Press button. Now, this is the second iteration of this kind of car Mattel did. There was the aquarium cars, and then they also did the On the Glow cargo. I, I I swear there was one more. I don't know exactly if there was, but I swear to God there was one more. But on the back here, you got a cool promo. Um, Something that really annoys me about this pack is that the coal here, it doesn't sit flat in the car so it's going a bit over the truck's clearance but in the promo here it's a little better i guess we got light up tanker right there pretty nice i guess yeah customer assistance um yeah um mattel obviously doesn't listen to their customers because if they did we would still be getting wooden railway <laughs> oh that's weird i just noticed that now the little instruction booklet is upside down. It's not probably not printed upside down. They just put it in here the wrong way. But oh well. Let's get this bad boy or girl open. There's no face on the trunk, so we can't determine the gender. I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber though. I oh, oh my goodness, that would be so cool if this truck had a face. I would probably bought like ten of these. I mean, this pack is cool by itself, but if you put a face on that coal car you you automatically make this pack a million times better because it's Thomas and friends and it's all about putting faces on trains and pieces of rolling stock so it would make it a million times better if you put a face on that truck but oh well beggars can't be choosers this is like 2012 so I can't change it now um let's put you back here I don't want to knock any more trees over though Here's a little instruction manual. It's in a bag for some reason. I don't really care about preserving it. Oh, let's see if I can actually open this. Come on, it's not that hard. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Just rip it open. I have voice crack a lot in this video. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just telling you how to change the batteries. I don't need that. Let's look at the item. Oh, it's got a... Aww! It's got a chip in it. Great. 
<laughs> no, I, it's okay. Oh my, it's just got like. Oh, that's weird. It's got like green on it. Oh, there's something in there. I think that's like the magnet, maybe. Because I know you can pick. The, oh yeah, you can. Huh. So I guess if Cranky wanted to pick this up, he could. Or if you have that really cool destination, the coal station, you could do that. And also, if you guys didn't know, I have my, um, what's it called? My tripod. It's actually the Crosby coal loader. And I, it didn't come with the coal load. Oh, it fits. I'm putting it in right now. I'm not going to test it because it would knock my camera over. But that's really cool. Um, yeah. I just, I gotta wish that it was, like, triangle-shaped on the bottom here, so it would sit flat in there and not go over, but, oh well. I really like the shade of green here. It looks really nice. Um, Soda Coal Company. It's really heavy as well, like, it's really heavy, honestly. It's just, it's all wood, which is really cool. This is all plastic, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's got stuff on the top. It's got multiple chips. What the heck? That's not good. <laughs> it's kind of rough underneath here. Like, the, the rest of the truck feels really nice and sanded, and it's really smooth. This is just really rough on the inside. Um, I have done woodworking before. That was a couple years ago, though, and I'm... This is would not fly if I was... If I turned this in for a grade. I did it in school, and... Let's just say this wouldn't be accepted. No, it probably would be, but the inside would not pass. Yeah. Let's actually... I'm going to couple it up to Percy here. Take away the baggage car. All right, that looks pretty good. I wonder if it'll go in the tunnel here. Oh, it does. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Oh, what in the world? What is that? There's like... What is that? It's on the lettering. It looks really poorly painted. It's on this side? No, not really. That's probably a lot of weird stuff here. And then here's the less interesting car. I already have the on the gold cargo, so I already know how this is going to go. But yeah, it doesn't turn on because this is from 2014. This is about like six years old at this point, almost seven, which is pretty crazy. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that we got the little Vickerstown Diesel Works logo on the um, cover here. That's really cool. But yeah, that's really all for this um, pack. I like something cool that Mattel did with these. They made um, the little, little liquid inside all three of their, the major variants. They made them different colors. So it's like, first one was blue. This one was like an orangish red. And the other one was green. So... Three popular colors for three semi-okay trucks. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. This is the more interesting car. I like this one. So yeah, that's really all for the... I was going to call it the Amigo Cargo, but it's the oil and coal cargo. Really nice pack, honestly. I'm, I really like this coal car. I think it's fantastic. Um, this car I like. It's probably the most realistic out of the three variants, but... Yeah, I'll probably use this in background shots or whatever, but it looks really nice. You can have it alongside your diesel. Actually, you know what I can do? Oh, I didn't even think about this till now. Look at that. Oh, there's a lawnmower going. That's great. Oh, yeah, you can do that. And you're like, hey, Dan and Dart are going to deliver the, the oil to the diesel works or whatever. And it's getting really loud. Holy cow. But yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, let's get you guys out of here. It's you guys have been in here w way too much. But yeah, that's all for the Amigo Cargo, <sighs> oil and coal cargo. They're very similar sounding names actually. But yeah, that's really all for this pack. We're gonna move on to ooh, um, the next item. I'm just looking at it right now. A lot of people are probably gonna be really mad at me for opening because it's a pretty rare item. Um, oh, I get these instructions. I thought that was the end of the set, but it's not. Let me just move the camera just a smidge. There we go. So I don't know what Percy had to do with this, but I, Percy's number six, and this is the sixth item, so I don't know. And the green contrast pretty good. And I wanted to test out 
how this would go into the tunnels, and it works fine, so, yep. Um, so Toby's gonna be the next focus, but this item and Toby have literally nothing to do with each other, which is pretty hilarious, so let's go and do that. So like I said in the last clip, a lot of people are probably gonna get a little mad at me for opening this, but it's my channel, my collection, I do what I want. But this is the limited edition D199 uh, 2013 version that Mattel put out right when they took over the line. Um, back in 2012, when Mattel was still working on acquiring the rights to Thomas, um, they had got the rights to the wooden rail line because Tommy had sold it to them. Or Mattel had bought it. Bought it. I don't know. Sorry. But a lot of people were speculating what's going to happen. What are we going to get from Mattel? And we got three really surprising items. We got this, um, Fergus, and the Flying Scotsman for some reason. Um, the latter makes sense. This one makes a little sense. Fergus doesn't make a lick of sense, though. Why Fergus? And not, like, Murdoch or something? I don't know. But, yeah, this one, this one, I haven't really seen that much. This one, honestly, though, I haven't seen it a lot. This one is probably the cheapest one you're gonna find. Um, I see that Fergus go for pretty cheap. The Flying Scotsman, that just goes for millions of dollars, but... I got this. This one actually came from Canada. This is the only Thomas item I think I've ever bought from an international seller. Um, so it was like $8. I'll say that again. $8 for this. In US dollars. And, but then it cost about 10 bucks to ship, which isn't that bad. But hey, $8 alone for this, it's a fantastic deal. Considering that I looked up um, this right around the time when it came, which is about March or something. It was right around the time that the pandemic started. I think it was March. And I bought it, and I looked on eBay. This goes for like $50 new in box. And I'm like, I got a steal for eight. But yeah, let's take a look at it. So up here, we got limited edition D199. And I believe these were limited because I didn't see these in stores for, I don't remember seeing these in stores. Maybe they didn't come to my local Barnes and Noble stores or whatever, but I don't remember ever seeing these. Yeah, we'll take a look at the item in a minute, but that face is just terrifying. I don't like that face at all. Um, this is the superior model, but I wanted this one because it was cheap, it was new in box, and it's a rare item. He's got, I've, I've seen these blue stickers, or these kind of stickers a lot. I don't know what this means. I think it's like a discount maybe from where the Canadian seller brought, bought it from. I don't know. But yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't have a different language on the front because Canada is famous for having um, different languages like French. Um, imported by Importar, Importe Par. Um, this is there. Let me look at um, James really quick. I think... Hmm. Yep. Just English. So, I think that's the only real English, so I don't know. I'd have to take a closer look, but just looking at my list, that's the only non-English part of the packaging that I can see. But yeah. Let's get him open. He's, I don't think he has a tab. No. I think around 2014 is when they started to put those tabs on him, so... Yeah. And also, this is a... If I put this side by side with James, he's actually a lot taller. Like, put this back a little bit. Oh, well, yeah, let me move my camera up just a little bit so you can see. You can see it's a bit taller, so a bit interesting there. Let's crack him open. Let me check. Good. I don't want the edges of the set to be vis visible in the shot, but oh well. So let's crack them open. Oh, that was pretty easy. So the whole reason that I did buy this, besides the fact that I really wanted a D199, is that I really, really want to do Rusty to the Rescue. I've wanted to do this remake for so long. And I've never... Oh, a pamphlet, yeah. i wanted to do this for so long, but one of the main things you need for that remake is, one, Rusty, and two, Stephanie. But three, you also need a lot of diesels. 
And thanks to this unboxing, I will have a healthy amount of diesels now, so um, I can do that. I didn't have a lot at the beginning of the year, but over the year, or throughout the year, I have gotten a healthy amount, so um, look out for Rusty to the Rescue, maybe 2021? I don't know. Let's take a look at it. So, oh, got a little nick up there. So already, <laughs> it's the maracas, you know, from the review. You know what I'm talking about. If you're a classic Thomas community fan, you already know what I'm talking about. But it's really heavy. It's actually very heavy. Like, just comparing it to Toby, like, this is heavy. I know Toby's a smaller engine, but it's pretty heavy. If I take, like, Henry here, Henry is a little lighter than this. Yeah, it's basically the exact same model as the Learning Curve one. I don't have the Learning Curve one obviously but it is exactly the same from what i can remember um i know the windows are a little different they're a little bit smaller than they're on the front too but then the face is different i'm assuming this is what he would look like if he came into the cgi series as far as i know there's no render of him i don't think nitrogen or arc or whoever ever made a render for him or even like d261 was actually in the model series. He, by the way, if you if you live under a rock and you've never seen the TV show or don't know it as well, um, D9 or Spamcan, he only appeared in the Railway series, and in one of the best toys, Super Rescue. Um, but he was never brought into the model series because that episode or that story was never adapted into the TV. And I wish it was because it's such a good story. Um, but yeah. Um, he also he goes by the name Spamcan, so. And D199 or Old Reliable, whatever you want to call him. But I, I call him Spamcan because that's easier and it's actually a name on like D199. But yeah, it's cool. On the bottom here, D199. The 80th day of 2013. Pretty cool. Let's just couple them up to the trucks there. Wow, he actually looks really good on camera. Oh, sorry, let me just hit the camera. He looks really good on camera, especially with those trucks. He looks really good. Trucks plural i don't know if i said trucks or truck we're not done yet oh uh, we have a pamphlet here a mattel pamphlet which i've never had um they only included these for like the first year so let me just open it off screen really quick and then i'll show you it but learning curve did this pretty much from like i don't exactly remember when they started doing that but they did that up until about 2008 2009 oh it's actually it's actually smaller wow this is really small compared to the learning curve one this is tiny oh well, yeah and they they are all just the learning curve promos except you got diesel up there that's their own model and then like millie steven kevin's new um let's see Winston, that's new. I can't really see him. Luke's new. Stafford's new. Connor and Caitlin are all. Kind of looks like he has facial hair. He looks like he have a. He looks like he has a beard. Well, that's weird. Emily, I don't know. That's the Tommy Emily. Spencer's new. Let's see. Yep, everyone else is learning curve. <laughs> or Tommy. That's kind of sad, though. Oh, Annie and Clarabelle are also new. I'm not really moving it around that much. Oh, no, no, that's the Tomy Diesel 10. Harold, that's also new right up there. Oh, that Jack. Jack has always had really horrible promo pics or pr prototype pictures. Look at that, though. He has a yellow roof. That's really sad. And then on the back here, I can't really see it that well. I'll just... I'll, We'll be back just a little bit. You can't really see it that well, but they don't really have a lot of stuff on here. It's all learning curve. It kind of looks like knockoff stuff. Wait, look, you got the Tommy Diesel right back there. I just wish Mattel gave him a grumpy face. This is literally all, except for like that. I know that's Mattel. That's also Mattel, the water tower. And the trees are also, but it's all learning curve and Tommy for some reason. A world of endless play. You can you can really tell that Mattel didn't really care about the wooden railway line. 
space on these pictures. Sorry, my arms are getting really tired. Um, yeah, we got up there, engines, oh, tracks, bridges, and tunnels, destinations, play sets. Whoa, whoa, it's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> um, let's get you out of here. But, and let's go back to the main item of the hour. Um, overall, it's not a bad model. Um, it's, j it basically is the learning curve version, but I'm just, they're all getting this grass, this grass on them. I don't like that. Yeah, that's really all for spam can here. Um, it's not a bad model at all. It's pretty good, I gotta say. It's it's salvageable. It's it's worth picking up if you can find it for cheap. You can I'd recommend you pick them up. But yeah, that's really all. Like I said, he has nothing to do with Toby or even Mavis, but that that would be kind of a cool story to see these three interact. That's giving me an idea here. No. Uh I don't know, maybe maybe I haven't written every episode of my series yet, so you could very possibly see an episode with these three. I don't know. But yeah, thank you again for watching the little watching me unbox these these items. Sorry. I'm jumbling over my words here. It's been a long uh couple of I think it's been over an hour at this point that I've been recording for, but not this singular clip, but the whole video has been gonna be probably over an hour. Um, I'm not sure if there will be a part one, part two. I'm thinking all just one hour, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I haven't really made a decision yet. But yeah, let's get you off the screen. And we're going to move on to another non-Thomas item. Well, it's not it's not Thomas related, but it's still a wooden rail item. So it's going to be an interesting one. And I really like this item. So um, I will see you in one second. <laughs>